Hey guys, what's up? Guitar Player Nick here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the ASUS Transformer Pad TF300. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, tablet itself around. So starting off on the left side, we have an HD, uh, or that's a mini HDMI, I think, um, volume rocker, rocker right there. Micro SD card slot. And then on the front, you have your little uh, ports for the... Um, for the keyboard dock, which I don't have, I apologize. Um, I just got this the other day, so I don't have the keyboard dock with it. Um, and then you have your headphone jack on the right side. And then on the uh, top, all you have is your power button. Now the design on this, as far as thickness goes, it's not as thin as the uh, Transformer Prime, which you're going to hear me a lot comparing it to. Um, and also the uh, Transformer Infinity. Not as thin, but I mean pretty thin. I mean it's still a very thin tablet and it's very comfortable to hold. Although I have noticed uh, right here around these edges are kind of sharp. Um, but still pretty good. Um, on the back is some kind of a plasticky backing here. And um, I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but there is a, a slight um, swirl design going on here. You can kind of see it coming up on those edges. Um, and there it is. Now, although the back is plastic, it is very sturdy plastic. And the screen on here isn't gr Gorilla Glass, um, but it is hardened glass. Very good quality. And, um, yeah, so this is the red one, which I really like the red. So, the tablet has a 10.1-inch uh, um, 1280 by 800 resolution screen. I really like how it's widescreen compared to an iPad. Uh, well, actually, most Android tablets are like this. Um, I particularly just love the screen on here. It's an IPS screen. No super IPS mode, though, on the TF300. This is their budget model. Um, but really, I, I don't really use, I wouldn't really use that super IPS screen. So anyway, screen looks uh, very good. Good colors. Um, let's go ahead and turn up the brightness here. Whoa, bright. As you can see, very good viewing angles. Like I said, IPS display. Um, I have noticed uh, a little bit of uh, screen bleeding on the edges, which you can sort of see some light spots. Sorry about the reflection here. Um, but you can kind of see white coming up from the bottom. But when you're navigating home screens and uh, op opening applications, you can just see a little bit of screen bleeding, but um, nothing that really affects the uh, usability of the tablet. So let's go ahead and talk about specs on this guy. Um, it is packing a 1.2 GHz Tegra 3 processor, which is slightly lower than the uh, Transformer Prime, uh, which I believe is a 1.4, if I'm not wrong, and 1 GB of RAM, so pretty, pretty, pretty good with specs. And also, 8 megapixel camera uh, with no LED flash on this one, but there is a camera back here, 8 megapixel, and that takes decent photos. And uh, this tablet does record in 1080p, um, between 20 and 30 frames, nothing too crazy, um, like I had mentioned before, but pretty decent. So let's go ahead and uh, navigate a few home screens here, as you can see, um, very quick. This is running Jelly Bean, Android 4.1, so if we go into, um, actually, that's one of the things I really like about Jelly Bean, when you go into the uh, app tray here, very snappy, very quick. Transitions are really good. When you open up settings, it comes up from the bottom. So you have a really nice transition there. Um, let's go ahead and go about, about tablet here. We're going to go ahead and do that little trick here. And then you can hold that down. And then you can play your little jelly bean game. Which I really like on the, uh, on the big screen on this. I also really like how it's a widescreen display, so when you're in apps like YouTube um, and you're watching videos, say watching videos in bed or whatever, this thing feels like a, uh, like a movie theater. I mean, the screen is just very nice on it. I don't know if I'd choose this over the uh, Retina Display iPad, but really good for viewing content. And uh, probably one of the best displays out there that isn't... Um, a super high resolution. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the uh, interface here. Um, press and hold. You get your um, 
little option here. Sorry, you can't really see that. You get live wallpapers, wallpapers, and gallery. One of the other things here, we'll go into um, widgets here. And I'll go ahead and put a few uh, widgets. I'll just choose this one. I'm going to go ahead and go here. And this one, I don't, I don't think this one can be resized because it's a special. Oh yeah, yeah, it can. Um, one of the really cool features I think um, that's a big improvement in ice cream sandwich is, or not ice cream sandwich, sorry, jelly bean, is watch this. The icons move for you just like they do um, in iOS, and um, I don't know if they do it in other operating systems, but I mean, some might call that copying. I just think that's, I mean, who wouldn't want that? I mean, that's just a good feature. Um, that pretty much anyone could have made up. It's not something, it's not too Apple-ish in my opinion. It's just kind of one of those cool features that you kind of want. Let's go ahead and try out a couple more widgets here. Oh, this is stock Android. Um, I haven't rooted anything or anything like that. This is just out of the box stock. So I can go ahead and I can add widgets here. And I can scroll through and I can go to one of these. Um, and actually, what, one of the things I do like that they have improved in Android is the USA Today app. They made a special tablet app. And as you can see here, I'll go to this article. Neil Armstrong, rest in peace, Neil. First man on the moon. So, um, this app I really like. Sorry, this is kind of zoomed in too far here. It just looks really good on tablets. Um, now, I realize that Android is behind the iPad and iOS with optimized apps, but I've noticed just a big improvement with um, what Android has been doing, or Google. Yeah, so the one thing I don't like, though, is the weather app. Sadly, the weather app is still this blown up phone app. Like, what in the world? It just, it does not look good. Um, I mean, it works, but I just find myself putting it in a landscape to get that nice view um, but it still looks pretty blown up, and I'd prefer to use it like this, but fortunately, it just looks like a phone app turned around, so, I mean, if there were other good weather apps, I'd probably have them, but I just really like the Weather Channel app. Let's go ahead and talk about camera. Camera is pretty decent. I've gotten some decent photos here, as you can see. My dog right there. Very crisp, I think. When you zoom in, though, it's kind of muddy on the edges, kind of soft looking um, but these kind of shots look pretty decent I don't know if you can see this very well here it is again um, hold on let me turn down the brightness here so you can actually see the picture more very crisp looking especially on the big screen so there's the camera um, now let's go and talk about the um, 1080p video now to be honest I don't really shoot um, much video with my tablet but when I do I have to say it's it's pretty average I mean nothing too crazy about it the frame rate is decent for a tablet um, certainly not the best but does get the job done if you want to uh, take a few um, short videos on it I do like how you can zoom in with video I notice a little stutteriness with the with the zooming in it just seems like it it's it's not very smooth zooming it's like jerky but uh, I mean, it's it's a tablet camera, so front-facing camera, two megapixel, nothing too crazy. There's no uh, um, tap to focus or anything like that. Um, there's my crazy room, but I do like how you can zoom in with this little tool, especially with videos, which you can't do on iOS. And also, uh, thanks to the uh, micro SD card slot. Um, you have a lot of space for those uh, videos and those photos that you take. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at Quadrant Standard here, um, which I just installed for this video. Okay, okay. Let's just go through that. And then we're going to run full benchmark. Let's go ahead and turn this this way. There we go. Hello. And the camera here. We can just wait for this here to finish. I'm not, I'm not really big on this whole uh, quadrant thing, um, but I know some of you guys are out there, so you want to see what the score is and all that good stuff. So I'm I'm just gonna do that anyway. So there you go. 
push that out here. So you can see frames per second, 60. And this is running um, a uh, quad core Tegra 3 at 1.2 gigahertz. Um, and one of the things I like about this is you can actually choose down here um, between these uh, modes here. Power saving mode, which, um, oh, let's see, I want to proceed. So here we are here. We are, here. Um, we are slightly under the um, Transformer Prime but better than the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 and Motorola Atrix 4G and also slightly better than the Samsung Galaxy Nexus actually a lot better than the Samsung Galaxy Nexus so um, as far as scores go I say excellent um, but some of you might have a problem since it's slightly lower than the Prime um, but I mean not that much anyway so let's go back to the tablet so let's go ahead and uh, run a game here for you guys. Whoops, wrong wrong side there. I accidentally turned it off. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and run the Dark Knight Rises game. Um, now this is in balance mode for um, as far as um, processor. The processor is set to balance mode. That's what I meant to say. And recent apps. I'll go ahead and I'll close those. Now this game I have noticed, even the iPhone version I've noticed, it is kind of laggy. I just want to let you guys see how it performs on this. It works pretty well um, for this game, in my opinion. I mean, it's not a very smooth game, but... So anyway, as you can see, a little choppiness. That has really nothing to do with the, the tablet or Android or anything like that. It's just the game. I played it on the iPad and the uh, iPhone and it's still like that it's just not a very well developed game I don't really think so um, go ahead and I'll do the little grapple thing so overall though I really like the game though it's still a really fun game um, we can go ahead and load up load up uh, let's see what, what am I gonna load up here I'll load up traffic panic pretty basic game um, I Apologize, I don't have anything installed like Frontline Commando. I had those, but um, I never played them, so. so we'll go ahead here. And I apologize if I'm not good at this game. So let's go, go, go. Oh, see, I totally, I totally am not good at this game, so. Anyway, game experience on this, um, we can go ahead and load up uh, NVIDIA Global, uh, which is their little um, exclusive app for a uh, stupid chair. My chair is so squeaky. Um, it's their um, exclusive app. I apologize for the uh, brightness here. Um, I have the brightness all the way turned down because the camera is not really picking it up. So anyway, smooth performance. Gaming is definitely an A plus on this tablet if you want a tablet for gaming, but want to stick with Android. This is probably one of the best, especially for the price point. Um, this I know this isn't the most high end uh, tablet right now. It is only um, three sixty I think for the sixteen gig. But um, again, this is really good value for the price, um, in my opinion. So anyway, that has been a quick review, or not really quick, that wasn't very quick, but um, this has been a uh, review of the Transformer TF300. Great tablet, especially if you want to save money, this is a great buy. Even if you don't want to save money, this is still a great buy, still a great, still a great product. Um, and it definitely fixed those issues with the, um, with the Prime with the um, Wi-Fi issues and the uh, GPS issues because of the plastic backing. Now I realize you can go and get the Infinity, which has that metal back and does have that problem fixed. But again, budget, get this tablet.